So let's continue further and look at now exercises. We pretty much finished all these. And all the exercises I'm going to do is just prove the properties, uh, prove property one of theorem three. And basically, we're going to prove all these properties. We already proved property five. So we're going to do the rest. We're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. And no, and six. Six is going to be the fifth exercise. And that's the uh, vector triple product. I think that's what it's called. Let's go see what it was called. Yeah, that's over here. So the vector triple product is property six. All right, let's just jump right in. All right, so let's take a look at exercise one. This says prove property one of theorem three, and that's just uh, a cross b equals to negative b cross a. So let's just uh, write this out, and let's say we have our cross product here. So a cross b equals two, and again, we know it's a two b three, because again, it's ingrained, ingrained into my brain. The next one's gonna be a three b two. And then we're gonna go, uh, and I'll put it like this. I like this better than the IJK format. So we have these in these components. The next one's gonna be A3 B1 minus, and then it's gonna be minus, um, this is gonna be A1 B3. Just the middle one, you switch up where the higher number is first, because there's a negative sign. And the next one's gonna be, uh, next one's going to be uh, a1, b2, minus a2, b1, like that. And now what, what we're going to do is I'm going to take out a negative from this whole thing. I'm going to take a negative out, and then basically switch these around. If you take a negative out, factor a negative, this becomes negative, this becomes positive, because if you factor a negative from a negative, it becomes positive, and positive... Factor out negative from a positive becomes negative. So we get a3b2, or better yet, so you'll have a3b2, but I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to switch these around. So I'm going to put this one's positive, I'm going to put the b2 in front, so that we have the same matching uh, subscripts too. But now we have a b there. Now we have a3, a3 there. And this is going to be now minus, uh, minus b3, a2. Next one's gonna be, this is gonna flip, and we're gonna, this will be positive, but now we're gonna put the B3 there, A1 minus, and then it's gonna be B1, uh, A3. Like that, and then next one's gonna be B1, A2, this is positive, this part's positive, but we'll put the B in front. And then this is gonna be negative, B2, A1. Like this. All right. And then, uh, what, yeah, now what we have, we took the negative all out here. So this equals negative. And well, we know all this. This is just the, we just switch these around where you have the, this is exactly the same thing here. Instead of A, we have a B. Instead of a B, we have an A. It's exactly the same thing. So in other words, we have B cross A. So this is just B cross A. So yeah, this is exactly it. Just equals negative of that. Let's check mark. We got it right. All right. So now let's go further into exercise two, and this one stays proof property two of theorem three, and that's uh, this one right here. Yeah, which is you have the uh, scalar c times uh, the vector a in bracket, and then cross b equals two. We could take the scalar out, and then times it by cross product a b a, a cross b equals two, and you could also put the scalar inside here. So a cross bracket c times b. All right, so let's take a look at this and let's write down the first one. So c bracket cross, yes, c, I mean, and put that in bracket uh, a, right like that vector, cross b vector equals two, and this equals two, and now this is gonna be, again, everything would we'll, we'll do the same thing cross product, but we also have a C there now. So now we have a C times by A to B three minus, again, similar to this cross product here, A to B three, but we also have a C there. And the next one is gonna be, again, C, C A three, B two. So we have that constant there. The next one's gonna be C, a3b1 minus c 
uh, a1, b3, and then and then the next setup is it's gonna be c a1 b2 minus c uh, a a2 b1 like that. All right. Now that we have all this, we could just factor out the c. So we could factor out the c, and that becomes well our usual cross product a2 b3 minus a3 b2 and then we'll have a3 b1 minus a1 b3 and then a1 b2 minus a2 b1 like that in other words this just equals to a i mean c times bracket a cross b so we got this first uh this the first part of the the uh, middle section there move this down and put a bracket and we got this correct now the next setup is well instead of taking it instead of factoring it out we could just move the c over into this b side so this becomes uh, a2 a yeah a2 c b3 minus and then a3 c b2 and then put a bracket and put a comma for the next component. A and then we'll have A3 C B1 minus A1 C B3. Next one's gonna be A1 C B2. And the next one's gonna be A2 C B1. In other words, uh, we just, <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same thing as the other one. Move this over. Yeah, so now what we get is this just equals 2. Now we have A, but now we have C is multiplied by every single one of the Bs, the B vectors. So that's the vector inside it. So this just equals to A. Yeah, whoops, here, fix that up. A vector cross and then bracket C scalar times by B vector, like that. And that is a correct proof, and that's exactly this part right here. All right, all right. So now this brings us to exercise three, and this one states proof property three of theorem three, and that's this one right here: a cross b plus c, and then show that it equals to well, just uh, expand this out: a cross b, and then plus uh, a cross c. So let's take a look at this and let's just write this out in our typical determinant format. So a cross then b plus b vector plus c vector like that. We could write this as in our i, j, k format. I'm gonna put like this. Uh, I'll put an i there. But yes, this is gonna be our i vector. Next one's gonna be our a1. And now these ones here, we're just adding these, so that each component's gonna be, well, B1 plus C1. All right, now the next setup is J. It's gonna be A2, and then we're gonna add B2 plus C2. So that, that's all the adding is, you're just adding each component. And then the next one is K, like that. It's gonna be A3, B3 plus C3, like that. And then we're going to do our determinant format, and and then we'll do the i cross out like this, and then you'll have this a2, etc. I'll put this all in there instead of putting the i j k. I'm just going to put this in this bracket format. I like I like this one better. So we'll have a2 times b3 plus c3. We'll have a2 times b3 plus c3. All right, and then minus, yes, yeah, so the minus is this one right here, a3 times, yeah, so a3 times by b2 plus c2, like that. Then I'll put a comma. Now the next setup is, is the j component, and I cross this out, and that's going to be, well, it's going to be negative. Yeah, it's going to be negative. Let's put a negative just for... Uh, show so we're gonna negative a1 has b3 like that and i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a square bracket a1 times by b3 plus c3 minus 
And this one right here, a3 times by b1 plus c1, like that. Close bracket, like that. All right. And erase this all. Next setup. K cross out. And we're going to go a1. A1 times it by B2 plus C2 minus A2 and then B1 plus C1 like that close bracket. So that's what we have now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand these out. So this equals to A2 times B3, A2 times B3 plus this uh, B uh, A2 plus C3. But instead of typing it there. I'll put it afterwards. I'm gonna so this times this. I'm gonna go from here minus a three times b two. Put that here. Put it all in one go, and then now the next one a two plus uh, c three plus a two c three, and then this one here a three, and then this will be negative because these are the negative ones. And negative a three c two. Negative a three c two, and now the next setup we're gonna do exactly the same. Thing here, so we're going to subtract this by so a1 b3, so a1 b3, and then uh, a3 b1 minus a3 b1, and then a1 plus uh, yeah, yeah, a1 times c3 so plus a1 c3, and then uh, this one uh, minus a3 times c1, like that, and bracket. All right, so like that. Now the next one, yeah, the next one here is uh, this part right here. So a one b one, I mean a one b two, and then minus a a two b one equals to plus a one b two minus a two b one, and then the next one a one plus c two minus, and then a a two times c one. Like this, close it. All right, so now we have all this. And now notice what we have. We have this, and these are all separate. In other words, uh, so th all these components right here, A2, B3, minus A3, B, B2. Then this one right here this, with this negative sign, A1, B3, minus A3, B1. Then A1, B, B2, A, minus, A, A, minus A2, B1. This is equal to a cross b, like that. And then all we're doing is adding now. We're adding a plus on every single one here for this a2 c3, and then minus a3 c2, and this a1 c3 minus a3 c1, and so on. And this a1 c2, c2 minus a2 c2. In other words, we're adding a cross, yeah, a cross c. So this is exactly what we just proved. And would we were asked to prove, so you could just foil this out, so multiply or expand this out. Uh, a cross b, a cross and bracket b plus c is equal to a cross b plus a cross c. All right, so now let's bring us to our attention to exercise four, and this one states proof property four of theorem three, and this is uh, it's it's almost identical to this one, uh, but instead of a cross b plus c, we have it the other way around, a plus b cross c. And show that you could foil it out exactly. So a cross c plus b cross c. So basically the other way around. So we could do the basically the same setup here. We'll just copy and paste exactly the same thing here, but slightly different. So we'll go a uh, a plus b and then cross c. Write this out in the uh, determinant form. So we'll put i. And now instead of uh, the bottom one there, so the top one is a plus b, so a1, a1 plus b1. And then the bottom is going to be, well, it's going to be c1. And then the next one is going to be uh, j. And this is going to be j vector. This is going to be a2 plus b2, and then c2. And the next one is going to be a3 plus b3, c3, like that. Cross. Yeah, then we have this. 
And then we're going to do the same setup here. This equals two. Put this here. So I'll have this, cross this out. And now we're going to have uh, this setup here. A2 plus B2 times by C3. Like that. And put the C3 there. And then minus this part right here. Uh, A3 plus B3 times by C2, like that. So again, it'd be exactly the same setup. And then uh, just a comma, the next setup now is the J component, cross, cross. We will go with now uh, A1 here, times that, but put a negative. A1 plus B1 times by C3 minus, a3 plus B3 times by C1. And then put a bracket here. Yeah, this is actually this bracket. Like that. Just because to have that negative there. And the next one is going to be the K component. Okay, like this. Cross, cross. And then we're going to have A1 plus B1 times by C2 minus A2 plus B2 times by C1, like this. And then close bracket, or the uh, triangle bracket like that, the indicated components, and then again, expand this out. It's gonna be A2 plus, no, or A2 times by C3. So multiply this and this, and then we'll do this and this. Minus A3 C2. And erase this. Then we're going to do this and this. And this is going to be uh, a B2, C3. And then we're going to go this and this. Uh, minus B3, C2, like that. Uh, and that is, yeah, that's just expanding it out. Put this like this. I forgot to do the uh, close bracket like this, and then the next one is similar to here, put a negative there, and then C, erase this, C3, A1, C3, A3. So we'll get, uh, put this uh, bracket, A1, C3, minus A3, C1. Now the next one is, inside here, plus B1, C3, and then this one here, minus, B3C1 bracket. All right, now we are powering through it pretty efficiently. Next one is C2A1, C1A2. So we'll get A1C2 and then minus uh, A2C1 and then erase this. We we'll go C2B1. And then plus, this is B1, C2, and then this one is uh, right here, minus B2, C1, close it, like that. All right, so now we have this. There we have this, and we can see again, the same thing. This is A2, C3, minus A3, C2. There's this uh, negative, and then A1, C3, minus A3, C1, and A1, C2, et cetera. That's just A cross C. This equals to A cross C. And then the next one is going to be well, we're adding these B, B2, C3 minus B3, C2, etc. B1, C3, uh, B3, C1, and then B1, C2, etc. Plus, uh, this is going to be B cross C. B cross C. Then circle all this. And it's check mark. So exactly same as before, but we just uh, start from the uh, this one at the bottom, another one at the top. Yes, fascinating. So A, A cross C plus B cross C. Fascinating stuff.